Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along once again to Worms Reloaded, and we have had a bumper night of action tonight with Deathwish 808 and a load of crap playing out quite a few matches. We're going to have to split this one into multiple videos. Let's take a look at the current standings, and Deathwish 808 is currently on a 13-point lead after playing 10 with a 9-worm bonus. A load of crap really needs to get back in in this, uh, in this series of matches um, to be able to think about taking the February series with um, February drawing to a close. But without further ado, let's jump into the action and see what he can do. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the arena for Deathwish 808 and a load of crap. Match number one here, contrary from myself, Knock. And um, let's see who is going to get us underway. It is Deathwish 808 with a worm that is surrounded with mines and barrels. I have to say, it looks like there is more mines and barrels um, hanging around in this one than we normally see. Maybe Deathwish up the mine and barrel count. Um, this worm is going to go first, though, with a four wind to the right. We're going to see a kind of lofted shot here trying to take out the worm on the top of the trainer. It does go over the top, though, hits a barrel and sets off some mine. We're going to see some after carnage there. The mine... Uh, damaging Deathwish Worm. The other one drops into the pit as well for double damage. Luckily, though, that one rattles away just to the right, avoiding a secondary hit on that worm. But um, as we say in Worms, Deathwish is kicking his own ass right here. A load of crap is going to be quite happy with the way that just panned out. Um, looking at the map, though, um, I think you've got to say he has two worms here, which are in very unfortunate positions. They are... Boxed in at the moment. This one uh, that he's got the minute on the left-hand side here could potentially be um, excavated. But the other one um, is blocked in until that fire drops down. Got to be very careful, though, if that fire is going to drop down on a load of crap's worm there. We'll have to see what the um, the fire gods plan for that one. But, um, yeah, we've seen it quite a lot with a load of crap. He seems to really get the unlucky picks and the, draw the unlucky straw and gets those worms that are trapped in. And you can't really do much with those worms um without sacrificing some amount of damage so let's just see what he does here we are under 10 seconds on the clock bazooka shot takes a single hit of damage and the fire is dropped on the right hand side as well but thankfully for a load of crap he has um evaded that fire damage now over to death wish 808 here in the middle of the park He's got the four wind with him yet again as with the last shot going from right to left though this time Let's see what he can do. Probably he's going to just put one up to the top and bring that worm of load of crap down to the bottom. He's um, lining things up a little bit to the right, knowing full well that the rocket is going to get pushed to the left as he fires it. We're just waiting on the shot now, but I'm sure this is going to. As long as it's accurate, it's going to bring this worm down. He fires it up, and he does. There was a moment there where I actually thought it wasn't going to make it, but uh, yeah, the wind slowed it up just nicely. And um, it looks like a load of crap's worm did take some fire damage in the end on the right-hand side there. Three damage for that worm, uh, 48 for the other worm. And uh, Deathwish resorts back to the lead of this map in terms of health. Still 4-on-4, four four though, with a load of crap now to play. I wonder if he's going to try and do some sort of cascading effect here with these um, my, uh, mines and barrels um, on Deathwish's mid-left worm here. Like I said at the uh, the beginning of the the match here, they're they're quite in a precarious position. I think he's got his bazooka out at the moment. He has indeed. He fires him across. The mine gets shunted down, and it was a dud. Can you believe it? Deathwish eight oh eight gets away scot free from the dud mine. Wow! I think uh, a load of crap is going to be absolutely furious with the game after that one. Back to Deathwish here with the high right worm. He has got the bazooka out that we're going to see on the trainer worm. We do indeed. Flies him over almost to Deathwish's mid left worm. Um, not quite full damage, but 32 is um, pretty good nonetheless. Chances are here we're going to see um, a load of craps. Worm on the right here that's blocked, boxed in. We do indeed. So um options here i would probably myself probably try and put a grenade up there just loft it on the top and um get the grenade to take out some of that geometry it's probably gonna be the least um self-damaging but no there was more room than i anticipated and uh, there is now a pretty open way there's still some pixels there that's going to block um a few shots but um certainly brings that worm into play Deathwish here with the worm on the left can't really move it a lot to the right because of that mine 
But um, I think we're going to see... Oh, I thought we might see a Plinko shot. A beautifully lofted bazooka shot, though. Directly, almost directly onto um, a load of craps worm there in the middle of the part. Another 28 damage sustained. That worm is down to 40 here. Deathwish with three worms still at maximum health. Uh, a load of crap really needs to bring it and start... Um, Start doing some damage. What's he going to do here, though? Possibly going to leave a grenade on this worm here and try and knock the grenade to the right over towards that mine. He gets the grenade out. He's stood on top of him. He is trying to evade, but let's see what he can do. He's actually pushed his own worm onto the mine, and, um, yeah, that was absolutely disastrous. He is down to two health on that worm, and Deathwish well and truly here in the driving seat. Deathwish now knows that he can look at him. He's toying with that mine. He knows it's a dud. We all saw it in the previous turn. He is absolutely mocking a load of crap here. Saying, nah, 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 nah. I can move to the right. blah de blah de blah Let's see what he does here, though. He's got the bazooka out. Probably just a, a nicely lofted shot. If he can aim it onto this worm or in the vicinity, that worm is definitely toast because of the explosive damage. There was an additional 27 explosive damage. Then we get the fire dance as well. A brilliant shot from Deathwish. 808 sees the end of our first worm here death wish takes four on three advantage although it does um fire rains down on top of that worm and he does take uh, three damage as well back to a load of crap now the worm on the left hand side here he is um Still not out of the woods. Um, I wonder if he's going to bazooka that shot, try and lodge their mines. He does indeed. One of them manages to fall down in the vicinity. Blows it up for 39. What's the other one going to do? I think, don't think it's got enough of a kick. But the problem here is Deathwish now does not know which one of those two mines down in that pit is the dud and which one is the potential live mine. So um, I think Deathwish's worm there is going to be trapped in that little alcove. Um, you're not going to be able to move too far. He's got a little bit of leeway to the left, but we'll see. I think they were going to see the end of this worm, and it's going to bring it down to a four-on-two situation. Um, I would just drop a grenade in, but he's got his bazooka out. So we will see. No, he is swapping out the grenade, as we can see right here. Just lofted in there. Anywhere within... Pff, he's got a big range of error here that the worm is only on two health. So anywhere remotely near is going to cause the, the enough splat damage here. And bring it down to that 4 on 2 Death is running the clock down. We're almost down to 10. Let's see. What is he doing? He's hanging out. He actually throws it to the worm atop. And he's he's actually messed it up. He was going for, as he often does, I think he was going for the showboat there to try and um, get the grenade to roll down in that um, little gap that there was. Unfortunately, though, for Deathwish, that wasn't the case. It didn't go down. And that worm with a load of craps lives to fight another day. However, this one... This one's uh, this one could see an end and could tie it back up 3-3. Three, three. If we uh, have a grenade shot, we do. He's got the arc at the back of this worm that the, the grenade can potentially roll back down. It does. It's a direct hit. That's going to be 45 damage, and that worm is out of here. We are 3-on-3, three three, ladies and gentlemen. Deathwish still in a commanding position, though, with two worms on 100 health. But you look at the health bars at the top, and you have to say there isn't really that much in it. Um, Deathwish not really romping away with it in terms of health. Um, so let's see if he can capitalize on his previous round's mistake. He's got the worm high here. I would assume he's going to go for another dropped grenade shot in here. Although he does have the wind with him if he wants to go for a cross grenade, uh, cross bazooka shot, sorry, um, and try and attack uh, a load of craps worm on the far left of the map. Let's see what he's going to do though. As the clock runs down, we are halfway through the turn. Not really, no real signs here of what he's going to do. He's got the grenade out, though. He is starting to alter it. So I think we are going to see um, a grenade down here. Rolls it down quite nicely. That is it. We are three on two in favor of Deathwish 808 here. And um, in terms of the, the grand scheme of health, it's not really affected much. It was only two, but definitely having that extra worm, no matter how many health they're on, will definitely um, assist you and help you further. Uh, so, a load of crap now with two worms, one on either side of the map. Let's see what he's going to do here. He's got a three wind. He might be trying just to loft a uh, nice little bazooka shot over the top of this brolly here and down towards Deathwish 808's 58 worm. If he can dislodge the worm and send him down into that pit, we think we think one of those worms is at... Uh, sorry, one of those mines is actually still live and in play. We know one of them's a dud. So, um, if he could just dislodge that worm and get that worm to slide down there, 
I think we could see a two-on-two -two situation. Um, I think we might see some Plinko here from Deathwish 8 I think he's going to bank it off the top and try and catch the top of that Broly and roll it down towards that 99 worm on the left, lower left here. Let's see what happens. He does indeed, but um, unfortunately for Deathwish, there wasn't really um, much of a roll to that worm because it was an uphill. He does get the 14 damage, though, with the radius damage there. So um, he's going to be happy with that. Damage is damage, as we say in worms. But um, yeah, that worm is definitely in a... Um, Awkward position because of that mine. It can't really maneuver about that much there in that top right of the map. A load of crap here. Bringing the worm over to the left to try and give himself a bit more of an angle on this top worm. He's got to be very careful though that he doesn't get near towards that drink because uh, there is water down there and that worm will be instantly toast uh, if he does get um, knocked into there or, or goes a little bit too far that direction. He um, tried not to put too much power on just to loft it up there quite nicely to get to that worm. But unfortunately it was... Wasn't enough, and um, that worm lives to fight another day without any damage. About eight and a half minutes left on the shot clock here on the on the game time. Sorry, and um, Deathwish. Now we're going to find out maybe which one of these mines is uh, is uh, live. He does manage though to jump over the mines and up the other side to put himself into safety. I don't think the mines are going to come into play anymore. We're going to see a um, grenade over the top here. I would assume. Or is he going to take... I think he's going to take out the geometry, actually. Got to be careful that that mine doesn't rattle back at him. He does take 12 damage himself there. And his worm is still not out of the woods in terms of those um, two mines at the bottom there. Uh, any sort of splatter damage or, or damage radius um, that could potentially dislodge that worm is going to see him down in the drink with those two mines. We might actually see it on this turn. A load of crap jumps on top of the brolly, pulls out the bazooka. Wind against him is not going to matter for this short distance, you wouldn't think. Uh, he's got to be careful, though, because the wind is going to affect that shot, whether it brings it up or down. It should bring it down nearer to Deathwish, so he doesn't want too much on it. He's just got to be careful not to have too much of an angle here. If he has too much of an angle, he is going to um, hit himself. But I think he's changed his mind here. He's going to go for the high worm, try and get damage, extra damage off this mine. What can he do? He switches it out to the grenade. And now he's going back the other way. I don't think he knows what he wants to do here. He's so undecisive. He's gone back to his original plan. Um, but there we go. It was an instant mine. It's created a water pit. And we are two on two, just like that. Uh, a load of crap, bringing it back to level pegging. And in terms of health, we are almost almost level pecking as well Deathwish has a 18 point advantage overall on the worm total two on two though and i think we're going to see quite a bit of across the map action here both with a worm on either side and i think those worms are going to be sort of attacking the worm on the opposite side the only exception to that i would assume would be a load of craps worm here that is bottom right he's got a lot of pixels and debris around him it's going to make any shots towards the left hand side of the map at the minute quite awkward but let's see if he can actually hit this worm this time i think he's going to have to swap it out to the grenade though the wind is really against him if he goes for the bazooka shot i'd be very surprised he does swatch it out to the grenade with a three second timer can he bring deathwish 808's worm down to the bottom here and um almost bring these two worms into a direct com uh, conflict let's see what he's going to do here he's um, lining up the shot thinking about what he's going to do we're almost down to the final 10 seconds of the shot 6 30 left on the game timer this could be one of those situations where we go down to sudden death we are almost down to five he's really got to hurry this shot he lines it up it's up, it's up, it's up, but it's going to roll away. And you've got to think that a two-second timer on that grenade would have done exactly what he wanted it to do. It would have hit uh, Deathwish's worm, and it would have brought him down. That was really unfortunate there for a load of crap. The, the power was excellent. The angle was perfect. All that let him down was the timer, unfortunately. Possibly going to see a Plinko shot here from Deathwish. Going for the one-second timer. I assume then we're going to see a full force throw here to make sure the grenade is traveling fast enough and then down fast enough. Let's see. No, it wasn't. I, I don't think the grenade was traveling fast enough. I would have personally gone for a, a full for, force throw there just to give the, the throw the extra speed to try and get it down. Either that or a two-second timer would have been uh, better there for Deathwish. But it's all a learning curve, and he knows now for the next time that... Um, 
that can happen. Uh, a load of crap here going for the worm on the left. I did wonder if he'd go for the one on the right because he had to win with him, but uh, now he's going to stick with this and potentially, as we said in the previous turn, he's going to go for the damage with the extra damage with the mine here. Let's see how this happens. This could backfire though. It could throw the mine because of where that has landed back towards him. It doesn't know. It bouncing in the pit. Deathwish has got away with it, but he is in a very precarious position. He cannot now go down into that bottom area or else um, he is going to be A, trapped in there with not very many options for shots, and B, in trouble with the mine. Back to his worm now on the high right here. You're going to imagine it's going to be a cross-map shot. I mean, I say that, but looking at the wind, the wind is four left to right against Deathwish here. So, would he rather go for a, a little grenade drop to that 97 worm of uh, JJ's on a bottom right there? He's switching out to the grenade, so... We are potentially going to see it, and he's going high. He's going to toss it off the ceiling and back down low. Two seconds on the timer, and it's just slightly too much. I wonder if he was trying to maybe get lucky bounce off that pixel area that is just above to the left of a load of crap there, just to sort of slow it down and then allow it just to drop and fall. But um, it definitely opens up a load of crap here. He's gone low, but the the splatter damage in the pixel radius should damage. It does, but Deathwish gets a lucky break and it throws him back up instead of bringing him down. And um, that was really unlucky for a load of crap there, not to get Deathwish, Deathwish's worm down below. Deathwish with the worm on the left, though, now. Um, very limited options in terms of movement. Let's see what he can do. I think he's going to go, though, carry on with the grenade working away with that as he did last time i haven't seen him alter the time there we go he's altered it to two seconds so the same sort of shot if he can pull it off will suffice here it's down unfortunately it came down a little bit too quickly in comparison to the last one if that had have gone off though i think what we would have seen is a load of crap's worm flung towards the right and potentially into that water pit and brought it down to a two on one however that wasn't the case and we are still as you are a load of crap now with the worm what can he do here? I think he's got to lower the timer and try and get a... Okay, he's gone for the bazooka. I was going to say, if he was going to use the grain, he had to sort of try and lower the timer and get an explosion as the grain was right next to him. Let's see what he can do with that, though. I think he's going to try and excavate his way or, or open up that area above Deathwish 808 here in an attempt to sort of give him more of a, a damage area that he can aim for. But um, Deathwish with the four wind with him, it's going right to left, but I think he's going to... Go back to trying to hit this worm. He does indeed. And there we go. It is two on one. That's the sort of shot I was talking about previously with a load of crap. If he could just sort of, as the grenade drops and it gets sort of parallel with the worm, if it explodes there, he would have been um, in a really good shape. But Deathwish managed to pull that one off there against a load of crap. And we are two on one in Deathwish's favor. You've got to say uh, a load of crap is in a very awkward position. He is opening up all these areas against Deathwish, but um, Deathwish's worm on the left here is the next one to play, and you've got to say he's had two practice shots at this worm. Can he make it three out of three? He's actually going for Bazooka instead. If he can get the power just right, the wind should just slow it up, pull it down. It, it, and he goes for that effect, but unfortunately he just didn't quite get it right. It's opened up quite a nice area, though, to the um, just to the right of where that mine is sitting on the left of the map there. I think a load of crab has probably got now a direct shot into there. And I think he could probably bring uh, Deathwish's worm straight down. And that is going to bring it down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see what happens. I can't. don't think the mine is a dud. Let's see what happens. Uh, Deathwish's worm doesn't even actually go to the mine. But 41 damage. One more shot on that worm. You've got to say that a load of crab has got a direct line into that worm. And then it brings it down to one-on-one. -on -one. With three minutes, ten left on the clock here. Um, we could still see sudden death. It all depends on whether or not Deathwish can do anything with these cross-match shops across to the other worms. Having said all that, though, that has totally changed the dynamic of the game. Um, the Deathwish really had to go for it, and the wind was with him to, to allow him to do that. And now a load of crap's worm has been knocked lower left here. Now, is there enough? He can get up to the first area. Is there enough for him to get up to that second area? I think it might be too high. He will know he's very experienced. The, these Both of these players are very experienced. And there we go. He can get up. Can he get back to where he was, though? He can. So, right. Now the shot is on. Can he bring it down to a one-on-one -on -one situation? He's lining it up. He's got the bazooka out. 
Not too much power here. He's got to avoid them top pixels. But can he just thread the eye of the needle? He 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 gets the damage, but unfortunately it is not enough. It is only 18. And um, the only saving grace here is that Death Wish, that worm is going next. You've got to think that if a load of crap's worm stays on this pedestal and survives this turn from Death Wish 808, the worm on the right-hand side has got yet another clear shot at that worm and it's only going to end badly for a load of crap but death wish here on the high left he has the ability here to um be a bit choosy as to what he wants to do is he going to try and jump over this mine i think he might it was an instant mine it was the wrong thing to do and that brings us down to one on one now you've got to think that for some reason a load of crap has got well, for some reason a load of crap has got to get his worm off this pixel cluster here because he is very exposed to the worm on the right hand side it is an open path from right to left the only other thing a load of crap can do is hope that the wind is with him which it isn't it's is totally against him so for a cross the map shot here he's got to go grenade he has got to get the timing perfect he's got to get the angle perfect can he do this? If he can push Deathwish down, he may even push this worm into the drink. If not, I think his worm is in big trouble. Let's see how this shot pans out. We have 140 left on the timer. The shot goes. It's all the way across. It's a two second. It is too much power, unfortunately, for a load of crap. Now, if the wind is with Deathwish 8 away, a load of crap is in big trouble. The wind is definitely with him. He has got four wind. You have got to think that this is the end. No, Deathwish goes far too low. He is re retracting his worm higher up that right hand side there to try and keep it out of trouble but this game is still very much anyone is going to be very much wind dependent here we are 130 on the clock potentially two or three more turns before we enter sudden death but this game could well and truly be over before we reach sudden death a load of crap with wind with him. He could use the bazooka here. He goes a little bit high. It's over crop, but it's gone too low ultimately. One damage on Deathwish's worm here, bringing him down to 73. 73 plays 36, I think it is, for a load of crap. Um, double the health of Deathwish. Deathwish needs two shots unless a load... Uh, sorry, Deathwish's worm needs to take two shots unless a load of crap can drop him into the drink. Again, Deathwish fires the bazooka across. He had the wind with him, but it's gone too low. A load of crap's worm is still in play here. Things are really hotting up here in the final exchanges of this Worms map. A load of crap. One minute left on the clock. Does he run the timer down and hope for sudden death? Or is he really going to go for things here? Let's see what happens. He has got the wind against him, which is not ideal. He swapped out to the grenade. But what can he do? Looking at that geometry around Death Row Straight Away, he has to... I was just about to say he has to get the timing right because the grenade is not going to stick but unfortunately he falls down i think he was trying to just adjust his position slightly he actually falls down to the ground below now that kind of puts him in, in a bit of safety he's no longer on a pedestal allowing death wish with a free shot over to him but he has to be still very careful death wish has been going very low these last couple of shots one second on the grenade it's fast it's fast but it the timer ultimately is too slow he needs to slow it down and put a two second timer on it so um he's gonna get be getting experience from that though but what a load of crap has got to be very wary of here is the clock running down once sooner we hit sudden death that water is going to start rising this is probably going to be the last shot of regulation time here we have 16 left on the, the game clock 36 on the shot clock you've got to imagine he's going to run this down um, and not allow Deathwish another shot. Although the smart play, what I was just about to say, the smart play would be he gets 11 damage and once again Deathwish's worm. It's like he's like got suction cups up there. He is just stuck on that ledge no matter what splatter damage is incurred around him. He manages to stay on. This is quite fantastic. But that one. What I was about to say, the smart play there from a load of crap would be to allow Deathwish to get another shot in regulation time. Deathwish again once across. Because we have seen over the last few turns, a load of crap has been getting splatter damage on Deathwish's worm over here on the right hand side. So allowing the timer to run down on sudden death and on the load of crap having the first turn of sudden death gives him the best opportunity to win this match. We are now in sudden death, both the worms at one health. So, all a load of crap needs to do is do exactly what he's been doing for the last three turns and get some sort of splatter damage. The shot is going across, the grenade is up. There we go! What a. I don't know if that was planned, but that was really well, that was really good play from a load of crap, allowing the regulation time, Deathwish, to get that last turn, given that he's been getting the splatter damage. And um, 
the first shot of sudden death certainly pays dividends for a load of crap and he takes the first game one worm remaining welcome back worms fans here to match number two between Deathwish 808 and a load of crap and as you can see the players have got the pond and the action i'm sure is going to come pretty thick and fast here with a load of crap getting the first turn in this confrontation can't really see much at the minute of the overall player field Deathwish hasn't zoomed out for us but a load of crap there with the initial win in match number one i'm guessing uh Deathwish is potentially AFK, but we're going to possibly see a short uh, grenade shot over the top of the barrel here, trying to um, get the extra damage. Backfires on a load of crap, and his worm is the one that takes the damage. Deathwish's worm escapes all damage, and the 28 there is uh, for a load of crap. Back to the other side of the map here, we can see now, Deathwish has zoomed out for us, thank you very much, I appreciate that. We can see all of the action. Deathwish though with the lower right worm here, um, I'm not really sure what he's going to do. He he can't really attack any of the worms on the right here unless he can utilize the wind. I think maybe what he's trying to do here, he's going to come back though at him and he creates a big amount of damage there with the mines and the barrels and that is Deathwish down one worm already in this map giving JJ the 4-3 advantage so far. A load of crap now. What is he going to do? He's is he going to attack this worm around him? I would pr I would have probably gone for an across the map shot here on the, uh, the with the worm on the golf balls, but each to their own. He's maybe going to try and get a grenade shot somewhere between this worm and the explosive barrel. He gets it on the worm here though, sets the explosive barrel off. Unfortunately, though, the worm takes a high loop and avoids the fire. Ten extra damage though on that shot. Reduces that worm to um, within range of a single shot death. You've got to say though, looking at the worm placement for once, a load of craps worms are really well positioned here. Um, none of them really in direct danger of falling into the water, you've got to say. Um, so Deathwish really has got to um, be very wary here. There's going to be no easy deaths to Deathwish. He's really going to have to work these ones um, whereas a load of crap potentially has very easy deaths. He's, he's got the one on the left there for Deathwish where a shot underneath would probably um, propel Deathwish's worm into the drink. Although you have to say after match number one, Deathwish worms do seem to all be suction cupped to the wall and there's just a load of crap couldn't get a break and drop a worm into the water. You've got the one on the golf balls, which is right near an explosive marrow and a, bind, uh, a mine for Deathwish there, which is going to be very precarious. And then you have this one here, which is literally one shot away from death, one direct shot. What can a load of crap do here, though? The grenade is in. It is almost sticking. And 29, fire damage as well. That could finish the worm. Uh, that's going to finish the worm off, clearly. All of that fire damage is going to be massive overkill. 30 points overkill. Deathwish is down to two worms, and it's a four on two here in favor of a load of crap. A load of crap certainly seems to be bringing it tonight to Deathwish. And um, that is absolutely disastrous. Deathwish attacking his own worm with the fire and the mine barrel. Overkill. And we are down. Can you believe it? We're down to four on one. In a load of crap's favour. I think this is potentially the first time in this February series we have seen a four on one situation especially in a load of crap's favor i mean a load of crap is most of the time has always been the one who has been really struggling and getting absolutely pummeled and, and hanging in for his dear life but now the tables are turned death wish is in there could we see a four and oh the first four and oh of the series let's see like i've alluded to before just getting that worm just to slide down um could see him into the drink, especially that fire. And if he fires in the fire, the fire damage as well, it's going to propel him even more and give him more velocity. Five second timer. Not really sure what a load of crap was doing there, but he has just completely and utterly destroyed any hope for that worm. And he is in the drink, and the 4 and 0 is off. We are three on one in favor of a load of crap here. Not really sure why he had a five second timer there. It was always going to be too much. He The speed of the. Um, grenade going across there it would never worked out with a five second timer in my opinion but um like i say these two are more experienced than myself and i'm sure um there was a method behind the madness death wish here then with his 
Sole surviving worm, potentially going to go for a bank shot here for the 35 worm below him. Let's see what he can do. 20 left on the clock for this shot. It's bounced off, but the two second timer was potentially too long. And I don't think the rock, we've quite got the right angle to hit that worm. Um, that creates a bit of a downhill section now for that worm as well, which is not going to help any shots. But I think a load of crap is going to have to bring this worm down here to bring him into play. So you've got to think that he's got to put this worm in a bit of a precarious position here. That's never going to work, I don't think. Although the wind, he, he has got wind that will potentially move the rocket to the right. But you're going to have to initially aim it left. He's going to have to bring this worm down if he wants to pull off this shot. I, I can't see it working any other way. He's too close to the geometry. But we will see. That's only my opinion here from the commentary 15 seconds left on the shot clock what can he do he finally brings him down we're down to the final 10 though he really needs to hurry this up and that's never going to hit because of the wind and you have to say that could be the end of that worm because he's left that worm in a very open position i i personally i don't know what he was going for there i would have personally brought that worm down straight away aimed more to the left underneath that worm to um, try and bring him down but yeah, aiming like that with that wind is always going to do be catastrophic. Deathwish there, three damage from the splatter, but um, slightly too high. But again, he's learning. Um, it's opened up more of a flat plane now, so he could potentially put a bit more time on that timer, allowing a bit more roll down once the time the the, the grenade actually hits the deck on the left hand side there. But we'll see what he does in the next show. This this worm now is potentially redundant for the time being. And there's not really a lot he can do without taking damage to himself. But we'll see. We'll see what he's going for. He's got bazooka out, so. And he's in the drink. No, he is not. He has survived by the skin of his teeth. But a load of crap here going from almost potentially a 4-0 situation. Seemingly starting to throw this away. I don't know if the pressure is getting to him or what, but... I think we're going to see the end of that worm now. Deathwish is going to now readjust his aim to go for the cross match shot. It's going to come up short though because of the wind. Um, didn't quite adjust the angle right there to um, be able to do that. But I don't know what a load of crap is doing here. He's seemingly throwing this one away. That's twice now we have seen um, some interesting shots, you have to say. Not stuff that we would normally see. Um, and that would be obvious to go for. We're almost down to 10 minutes on the match clock, though. We have got a four win right to left to aid. A load of crap here. Can he do anything? The uh, the bazooka shot is slightly too low, causes splatter damage, but not enough to take the um, suction cups off that wall and that uh, that worm, and that worm remains in that high area there. So um, Deathwish survives to fight another day. One wind here is adjusting the angle slightly, goes a little bit higher this time. But um, he, he, rather than going for the low worm, he went for the high worm, surprisingly. And he was once again too low. You get, that's the only problem when, with across the map shots, especially when you change your aim from worm to worm and you, your worms get moved in positionally between turns. Um, anything you may have learned from the previous shot is potentially thrown out of the window and you have to readjust. And a lot of the time, because it's so far across the map, um, you often end up too uh, too short or coming up uh, just underneath. So um, lessons will be learned, though. Lessons will be learned indeed. Uh, a load of crap here, though. Once again, this worm has three wind against him. Grenade shot up, though, up in the air. It's good. But once again, Death Wishes worms with those suction cups. He just refuses to fall off these platforms and slide off. You've got to imagine, though, with a load of... If this was a load of crap in this position sliding about, his worms would just be off the map. It just seems like Deathwish gets the look in terms of landing and sliding off things. He goes for the shot. He's just over the uh, over the top of that worm on the lower right, though, and um, the splatter damage incurs three. But um, JJ, a load of crap, is still hanging in there with three worms somehow despite the calamities that have happened so far. But you've got to you've got to say a load of crap is being very unlucky here with the wind. Um, the wind is against him once more, pretty much taking off a bazooka shot. So it's going to be another grenade shot. He does have quite a, an area, though, to aim behind the worm. So if you can loft it over the top and roll it down that little arch, 
you've got to say that a grenade behind Deathwish's worm here is going to send him into the drink. I don't think no amount of suction cups is going to stop him here. That's exactly what he's done. He is in the drink and a load of crap wins with three remaining worms that could potentially be the, the highest win rate we have seen so far in the series. Good stuff from a load of crap and that is really going to bring him back into this series. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for the final match here of the video. Only match number three of the night, though. Uh, the remaining matches will be split into a, a different uh, video. But match number three here between Deathwish 808 and a load of crap. Once again, we are in a pond situation with Deathwish 808 to play first. And uh, you got to you got to say that there are a lot of explosive uh, equipment over on this right-hand side of the map, which I'm sure... Deathwish will be taking um, or making use of really early on. There we go. Already one worm is reduced. There's going to be fire raining down on that worm of a load of crap, which could potentially cause more damage if it sets off that uh, explosive arrow. I can't remember whether fire does set off that, but the wind has actually saved a load of crap there. The wind is actually pushing the fire over to the left and... Uh, I think that may have actually put him in a safe position. But Deathwish 808 takes the early death there from a load of crap and takes a 4-3 advantage in this final match of the video. A load of crap with this worm here. He always tends to get the worms that are trapped in these situations. What can he really do from here? Um, I don't know that he's got enough really to loft a grenade, uh, a rocket up to hit that. That is disastrous. I... I he didn't really have many options there for a shot. He's knocked his own worm into the drink. There's fire about to rain down on this worm on the left here as well. He took 34 damage himself just from that shot. So um, once he does the fire damage, that worm on the left for him is going to be in a very dangerous situation. And um, the pendulum well and truly swinging here in Deathwish 808's favor. The cross the map bazooka shot. There goes the, some of the fire causing three damage. Cross map bazooka shot there from Deathwish 808 only inflicting 8 damage to the worm of a load of crap. Um, at least the worm on the right though, all that fire, is he is safe from that. The fire goes out now, um, but uh, he's going to have a job getting up there. That seems like a, re a really steep angle to be able to try and get up to there. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. He's changed his mind and goes to the left. I think we're possibly going to see a grenade shot over. He is still trying to get up there though. He is still trying to get up there. I think a grenade behind these two worms is probably going to be the best thing he can hope for here. He does swap out to the grenade over halfway through the turn here. Doesn't need a big timer. And that backfires completely on top of the mine, of the barrel. And we have a four-on-one situation in favor of Deathwish 808 here. You, th this is just absolutely disastrous. And... I was just about to say Deathwish does have one worm in a very precarious position, but it is that worm's turn right now. And you have to say for Deathwish 808 that um, this is um, the perfect opportunity to get the first 4 0 in the series. Oh dear. You got to feel sorry for a load of crap. Like I said, Deathwish, if you watch back some of these matches, you, you do get the impression that Deathwish does get a lot more luck in these. But luck is part of the game. And um, sometimes some people may say that you make your own luck. But it's just unfortunate. I have been in the, that situation like a load of crap many a times in games of Worms where you make, you, you make decisions and it totally backfires. You fall off ledges. You take damage from your own, own weaponry and your own attacks. And it's... Just one of those unfortunate things about worms, but it does make it what it is, sorry, part of what makes it so exciting to watch and be so exciting to be part of. You can never truly anticipate what is going to happen, even when you think you do know. Deathwish there with um, an attempt, I think, at a cross the map bazooka shot goes too high unless he's carving out some angles for later on in the map. I can't imagine this one is going to last too much longer, though, with um, Deathwish. Two full health worms, two on the the right hand side here. Let's see what happens here though. Was that a di that almost looked like a direct shot? I'm not sure if it was, but we're gonna have extra damage. It wasn't a direct shot, no, he only got forty, but that was a really good shot. Double damage there, a twofer, and um Deathwish is worms have kind of been put in a lower position. I think that's actually moved them both to a bit more safety. But um 
let's see what he can do here. Just bring the worm to the parasol. There is a pixel right there, though, just above. Oh, he, he managed to actually get on the pixel like he did in that in the previous video. We didn't see the pixel. We did see it that time. He did manage to get it up. I thought the pixel was going to block him. Maybe two pixels there. I don't think. No, there's just the one. Um, so let's see what he can do here. Um, I don't think he can outright kill a load of craps worm here. He's going for the grenade. Let's see what happens. Two seconds. Bounces up and actually damages his own worm. He's got an awkward bounce off the top of that brolly there and uh, damages his own worm, unfortunately. And um, yeah, luckily it was only 12 and that worm hasn't been dislodged from that high place over there. You have to say though now, a load of crap is going to go for a brolly shot here, possibly, and try and knock this worm of death wishes into the drink to prevent the first four and only of the series. Um, it's really possible. I think he just has to go slightly below the worm. He does indeed, but he knocks the worm the wrong way, unfortunately. But the water level is just high enough for a load of crap to get the death. Um, not the way we anticipated and expected, but the death is the death indeed. So um, we are down to three on one here. What can Deathwish do here? We're going to see a little grenade in. Nicely next to a load of craps worm. That should be maximum damage. Not quite, but he does get one extra. So 43 damage there brings the worm down to 20. And um, one more shot there against a load of crap. And uh, the game is over. You have to say, though, a load of craps worm as well. It is now in a very awkward position. He can't really escape where he is, and he's in quite the um, he's in quite the the alcove. I think what he's going to he thought about there going for the bazooka shot and trying to with the with the force of the shot push Deathwish 808's um, worm into the water. I don't. I think the 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 amount of wall though that is left. I don't think there would be enough momentum to push the worm into the drink, but um, he's changed his mind. We're 20 seconds left on the clock here. I think we're going to see a cross-map shot instead. Just in the angle. He's got two win with him, so it's going to help him slightly. He's actually gone for the grenade and not for the rocket. And the pixels there, he catches the pixels, which actually knock the grenade back into the water. That was really unfortunate. That kind of goes back to what I was saying previously about... Um, the look you seem to get between a load of crap and Deathwish 808. Deathwish 808, you've got to think that if that was his shot, that would have gone as intended. But um, a load of crap seems to always be on the unlucky side of occurrences. you got to imagine we're going to see another across map grenade uh, grenade toss here, though. He's going trying to go a little bit higher, adjusting the angle slightly, so he doesn't catch that pixels. Those pixels, sorry, not that pixels. It's bad English. Um, he catches the ceiling geometry though, and um, that is in the drink. Not much is going to happen with that, I'm afraid. Deathwish taking his worm high, and you've got to imagine any sort of grenade shot in that pit where a load of crap is could see the end of the match. Um, he's switching it out to the grenade, which I, is probably the right decision. He just needs to get one in there. It's looking good. It's going to come down. It's going to roll up, and that is the end of the match. Deathwish takes this one with three worms remaining. Three and oh, much like a load of crap did in the previous match. You've got to say, though, in that match, a load of crap was really unlucky um, and didn't really help himself too much. But after three matches in these uh, this series of matches in this evening... Part one is over. Let's see what that does to the Worms leaderboard. Surely a load of crap is going to be really happy with his performance so far in tonight's matches. After three matches, he has reduced the deficit from 13 points to 10 in the overall standage. After 13 matches, um, he takes three points away from Deathwish's lead. He could have done even more having got that three worm bonus in match number two tonight. But unfortunately, Deathwish was able to do exactly the same in the final match to kind of negate that advantage. Or as we could have been sat here looking at a eight point deficit, which would have been even more impressive for a load of crap. Still more action from this evening to come in the next video. So make sure you stick around and wait for that video to come out. Thank you very much, as always, for your continued support in this commentary series as the February series draws to a close. Like I said before, if you want to get involved in the action, just leave some comments or direct message any of the players on Steam and we'll try and get you involved. But until next time, thank you very much. Goodbye.